hi I just ordered this amplifier and uh, it's a TDA 7492P Bluetooth amplifier it's a 25 plus 25 watt stereo dual channel amplifier this can be used from voltages of uh, 12 to 25 volts so let's open it and check it out These are the playback buttons, play the previous track, the next track and these are the volume tracks. Now these switches set the gain of the amplifier. By default it comes at the off position. This is the aux input, it's a standard 3.5 mm jack. This is the DC input jack for the DC power. These are the two speaker output terminals cut the extra leads off and insert it into the speaker output terminals you can use any of the output terminals I'm just going to use single speaker it gives out a connection tone so now let's test it on bluetooth Now I'll be testing using the aux cable. My phone is showing that the cable is connected. My Bluetooth is switched off. So that was the test of TDA7492P Bluetooth amplifier board.
Now I'll be drilling a 12 mm hole for fitting this DC jack. First I drilled a 3 mm hole, then later on I'll be drilling a 6 mm hole, then later on a 8 mm hole, and then after that a 10 mm hole, and lastly I'll be finishing off with a 12 mm drill bit. Why? Because this material is MDF and uh, if I directly go to drill with a 12 mm the finishing will not be good the MDF will cave in from inside so to prevent that I am going step by step I do have a step drill with me right now here this is a monster drill bit that's what I call it This fits in nicely and easily. Now have a uh, aux input also. Now I have to find out which one is the ground pin in the 3.5 mm socket. So now I plug in an aux cable. It's a male to male 3.5 mm cable in this, and then take my multimeter and switch it to continuity mode and then check the continuity from one of the pins ground to the other let's see which one shows this one doesn't show this one shows this side this one is the ground and this is the left channel and this is the right channel now i will try to cut this wire and see whether this wire has a three core or uh, sorry two core shielded wire or not it should have but some wires do not have a proper solderable wire inside them so i have to sacrifice this cheap uh, aux cable yeah it has a black white and a red wire inside so I think this will be enough for my application I'll just strip it off with my nails my nails are sharp I don't need a stripper for such thin wires see and it's got a good copper wire inside So I'll thin these wires up and then solder it to the jack here. Take a 1.5 mm sleeve and cut pieces and insulate this wire before I solder. Tiny pieces are enough, about 10 mm or so. But three pieces. Insert them one at a time. So 
all of those up Swing it up. And then do the remaining ones. Make sure you insert the sleeve in every wire before you solder. This one was a bit long, so I shortened it. And it's done. Now I have a little extension, a 3.5 mm male to a female. Now I insert this plug through the hole and then hot glue the socket up. I won't use a lot of glue because in case the socket goes bad, I'll have a hell of a bad time pulling it out. Even this much is enough to hold it in place. And rotate it and then fit it. And press it. It's done. Okay. Clean the excess glue off get a good finish that's a nice fit it doesn't come out easily now I can plug in aux very easily now I'll be hot gluing the board 